Well, Hillary Clinton's lead over Donald Trump shrinking by the day. New national polls show the GOP nominee closing the gap as he launches a new line of attacks in critical swing states. Kristen Fisher is live in Washington with the latest from the campaign trail. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, Patricia. So Clinton had a double digit lead over Trump, about 13 points earlier this month, right after the convention. But now, according to that same Monmouth University poll, her lead has shrunk to seven points. Now, the poll was released yesterday, and it has Clinton at 46 percent, Trump at 39 percent, Libertarian nominee Gary Johnson at 7 percent, and Green Party candidate Jill Stein at 2 percent. Now, you can see both Johnson and Stein still well below the 15 percent threshold needed to make the debate, so that's officially determined by an average of five other polls. But for Clinton, debate prep is already well underway. At a fundraiser yesterday in New York, in fact, Clinton openly solicited ideas from donors on how best to try to beat Trump in the debates. She told them, quote, I do not know which Donald Trump will show up. Maybe he will try to be presidential and try to convey a gravity that he hasn't done before. Or will he come in and try to insult and try to score some points? Well, yesterday, Trump certainly tried to score some points by posting this on Twitter, quote, does anyone know that crooked Hillary, who tried so hard, was unable to pass the bar exams in Washington, D.C.? She was forced to go elsewhere. He then said her brain power is, quote, highly overrated. So that's his latest line of attack. He's also planning to roll out a $10 million ad campaign, his biggest ad buy to date, and it targets her economic proposals in nine key battleground states. It essentially claims that Clinton will crush the middle class by offering more of the same, but worse. So make no mistake, this is, this is a major ad buy for Trump. But even some of his supporters have said that they wish it would have happened just a little bit sooner, like when Clinton did over the summer. Patricia and Heather. Kristen Fisher, live for us in Washington. Thank you. Thank you. Well, another Fox News alert right now. I think he's going to snap that chilling tip leading.